Hi, welcome back to the Cooking with Corey. Today we're making pasta chips and pizza bite dip. This is very new for me and my wife, so. Um, today we're using lasagna noodles for our chips. So we're gonna boil them, or cut them down to size, a nice size of a chip. And my wife says we're supposed to put a little bit of oil on them and put them inside the air fryer for like a minute or two. Mm -hmm. And boom, that's it. And then right after that, we will start, we're gonna do the pizza bite dip. Yes. Okay, so the water is already almost boiling as you see. I put the uh, olive oil in there and salt as usual. Now we're gonna deposit the noodles. So where'd you hear about this dish, babe? Um, this I saw on the internet somewhere on a food blogging site. Okay. Just like that. This is new to me. Mm -hmm. I've seen them off and on in the last couple of years, but I've never got to tr actually try them. So, good thing. So, let's, while we're doing this, do we cool the noodles down in cold water, then we cover them with the oil? Um, might, might want to do that just so that they don't break apart on you, get too yeah. soft on you. You're probably just gonna wanna make it so that they're just well. Okay, so not too long anymore. Not too long, yeah. Okay, let's just switch. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be fun. Never made this. And we're making a special for the kids today. Yes, we do three things today. Yeah, three things today. Three things. The wife didn't know about the third thing today. Yeah, and you sprung that on me. <laughs> yeah. We had planned it just for not for today. But that's okay. Okay, well. Okay. Again, we don't want this really overly cooked, right? Is that the, mm -hmm. is that the plan we're telling the fans here? Yeah. Okay, so. You want it just like basically to al dente, just just cooked. Okay, so put it back on there. The water is at a boil. I'm turning it off. Water to the boil, and I'll cover for three minutes, and that should be good. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes, please. Okay, announcements. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. Um, all our food is brought by Fresh Markets Fruits, uh, Fresh Market Fruits in Oyen, the only place to shop. Same news, same thing as usual. The book's in progress. We're working on it. We're making steady strides for this book to be done. Um, app week and Sunday um, for the NHL playoffs. Uh, tomorrow's live segment, 3.30, pulled pork sliders, but there's a bonus to that one too. Um, I told you guys I'm taking a break from filming for Monday, Tuesday, probably all of next week so I can catch up on my uh, paperwork. Uh, got to do stuff for my business plan, the book, and catch up on the stuff. So, But we, we might shoot maybe one simple video here making lunch for us to eat, you know and uh stuff like that new websites coming for your home for all things cooking with Corey. that should be done hopefully next week too um i'm still in facebook messenger jail so yeah i don't know how that i don't know how long that it's gonna last <laughs> hopefully under 30 days but if you still want to get a hold of me you can still tech you still get a hold of me through my at my facebook page or my business facebook page leave a message and i'll get back to you right away or email as well. Email as well, yes. My email was there. So we're making pasta chips right now and the pizza tip. Onto the board. If you're not following hockey, it's looking good for Winnipeg as my bet. Montreal is apparently winning that series from last time I checked. Golden Knights is winning that series. 
so far. Colorado's killing that series so far. Pittsburgh's winning that series. Boston's up by one to one there. Hey, wait a minute. Somebody lost. Oh. Who is that? Hurricane. I knew I was missing one. Hurricane's winning that series. And Tampa's winning that series. So Cougar Corey spot on is pretty spot on so far besides the Montreal winning the game. <laughs> I didn't count on that one. But I was pretty much right about the other ones. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for Cougar and Corey's uh, idea, who's gonna how it's gonna play out, it's pretty spot on so far. I know. So if you're playing Vegas odds and what I put on the board here, don't forget to share your money because I'm the, <laughs> I had directed you to the winner. And I just go back to over here. So the water's off. Ooh, that's hot. Perfect. Okay, I gotta get my gloves. Alexa, stop. I gotta open the window over here. So we're gonna cool the noodles off so they stop cooking because you don't want them to cook anymore. Correct? Mm hmm. Same time you're washing the starch off too, which is not a good thing. Alrighty. So I never made pasta chips. I didn't even know there was a such thing. Me neither. But I have a feeling this might be a staple if we like it. <laughs> All righty, so do you have you on the side because I work on the side, okay? okay? I'm gonna take my oil and pour it inside there on my my chips. And we're using uh, canola oil. That's what we're told to use. Because the air fryer has such a high temperature that something that is a higher temperature oil than, than oil, olive oil. So you're just gonna get your hands a little dirty again. This is where gloves would be nice, but they're coming. Yes. So you gotta just mix it up. Take Mr. Knife. any kind of noodle with this as well. I originally saw it with bow tie noodles, so you could use any kind of noodle. Well, we couldn't find bow tie noodles. Mm -hmm. Then I came up with this idea as a bear as a chip idea, so you can get a better scoop on it. Yes, yes. Which I think might be the better choice we went. Mm -hmm. 
It's a thing I like. I like living in Hawaii, but sometimes when we need to get groceries, we gotta go to Medicine Hat because yeah. As much as I support the town, sometimes you gotta go somewhere else to get some certain things. But it's okay. Well, we have ninety nine percent of the stuff we need. Yes. Just that's that one percent. Yes. I'm happy with ninety nine percent. Kept in it would have been too soft. Yeah. I have to wash my hands. I'll say right too. Where do I go from here now? This is to the air fryer. To the air fryer. Okay. It's okay. About four minutes. Not even that. I'd say like two. Two. I'm gonna lay them out. A single layer. Kind of like we did our chips the other night. This time we're gonna make it more of a single layer. Right? Turn four. <laughs> You're the boss. This would be a good one if you had leftover pasta and just a little bit and you didn't know what to do with it. Some pasta chips for your snack at night. Mm hmm. Probably better than popcorn. Probably. Probably a little bit better too for you than regular chips. And why if we have this in our cookbook, of course, right? Of course. This is sick. Same way with the sick. All of these appies will be in the cookbook. For Everything sure. we cook and do in the kitchen goes in the book. Yes. Even the little how-tos. So the gar garlic butter episode is in there. Your bacon wrapped hot dogs is in there. Everything that we've done so far is an episode. Cooking with Corey. Cooking episodes, that is. Okay, and now we close it. You see it's in? Yeah, roll it. Great. Okay. Picture. Picture moment. And we go. So you turn your air fryer on. What if you don't have an air fryer? You could probably do a deep fryer if you had a deep fryer or do it on oil on the stove. Even, you could probably even bake these okay. in the oven. So you have it, ours is set to air fryer, 400 degrees, two minutes. Give that a try and see. <clears throat> yeah, so. <coughs> and yeah, so are you gonna put, is this gonna be, this is all gonna be posted on one same page for them, right? So do you know when you do it? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, and after this, we're going to be making the the dip. Yes, pizza 
of bite dip. I'm pretty excited for. It. Pretty excited for today. Yeah, this one. I don't. This one. Uh, is it easy to make the pizza bite dip? We've never made it. Okay. <laughs> We've never made it, but. Well, we were first fun. time for everything, right? Yeah. Let me get my bowl so I can put my fries in there. Took a walk today with the wife and just walked into an old friend and said hi to him. And, and I never told him about my show because we don't talk a lot, lot. But, um, you know, we were, but he said he likes my show and it was really nice to take a walk and hear people saying your show is awesome. You're doing a good job, you know. And it was very, uh, actually, this is what, uh, uplifting. Yes. You know, so yes. it's nice to know that my work's getting out there. You know, like, I don't social. I've been home a lot, and I don't social uh, associate a lot of people, but it's nice when you go on people and say, God, oh, nice work, Corey, you know? Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. For sure. Good stuff. But it's a teamwork effort, effort with me and my wife. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Switch some of the trays around okay. and rinse and repeat. For another two minutes? Yeah, so maybe bring the bot one that was on the bottom to the top. What about the middle one? And I'll have to trade it the next round. Might have to do this a couple times. Once you start using this air fryer, it's easy. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. You just gotta think of it like, like an oven. And it does have a bake setting on it. Yeah. So. But it's a lot faster than an oven, for sure. So are we gonna do the video, make the dip right away, or that's a separate video? That'll be a separate video, a separate episode. Cut. Yeah. So right now, this episode's making the chips. Yes. Next episode I'll be filming and putting it up for you guys would be the dip. Yes. But the technically do you go together. Yeah, you the, could eat them together if you want, or with whatever kind of chips or dip or even vegetables you could eat with that too. Yeah, but essentially this episode is two episodes. Yes. They go together. So we were doing a dip right after this. Yes. And we're doing the bonus episode for you guys there. It's yes. for the kids. Yes. Lots to happen today for cooking this Cory. Lots yeah. of cooking. Making sure you guys have enough videos to watch and catch up on while I take my week off on my paperwork and stuff I gotta do. Mm -hmm. And so I put a couple of videos up for you guys. Mm -hmm. So I think we have a five questions in here somewhere too. I think we might do that next week. Okay. Yep. Tomorrow is the pulled pork episode and we're doing that two ways. Pulled pork sandwich is two ways. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. And that'll be at 3.30 our time. Oyen time. Yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, actually, tonight, aren't we doing a pudding pulled pork in a slow cooker tonight? Showing them how to do that. We could do that tonight. We'll see. Maybe we can also do it tomorrow morning, too. It'll be good. She's a boss. She tells me when it's going to get done, so <laughs> I just go with the flow. Should be almost ready now. How crispy are we? Not yet. Not totally yet. Keep going. Maybe put the middle one in on the top. Got anything for the fans today? Mm -hmm. Well, the snow's gone. Weather's got nice again. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. birds are 
lights were out today. Yeah. Gotta get the a lot of moisture. No, we didn't get a lot of moisture, but we could have used more. Yeah. Got cold though. Yeah, it did. Not really cold. I think it snowed everywhere around us, which is fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> so our numbers are pretty much the same. We're going up. We're almost at 800 for Facebook likes. My whole goal is to have hopefully 900 in the next two weeks. YouTube is 36, TikTok is 71, Instagram's 44 actually because it went down a couple, got a couple people that I didn't want to buy nothing from them, so they left. <laughs> uh, Twitter is 773 or 74, so yeah, they're looking good. Numbers going up slowly. I'm really proud of my Facebook page. Me and the wife are. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. And thank you to everyone who's subscribed and liked and shared and everything else like that. We do appreciate that for sure. Yes. That's helped to get Corey's show out there and helped to get the page and everything out there. Yeah. It's good because of you guys, the book is actually going to be getting out there because I couldn't just, I could probably try to done it this way without video and just put it, make a book together. Mm -hmm. But the success of my book actually being really successful then would have been a long shot. Yes. This page grows because of the fans like yes. you. So keep doing what you're doing. Liking, watching, sharing, subscribing, all that stuff for us. So remember, you guys helped me make this book. So, so everybody should be happy. And I hope your teams are winning. And hope you like my to Corey, uh, cooking with Corey, who's going to win, who's going to lose. <laughs> so... Right. Although the one time I say Canadians are gonna lose, you're actually doing something. <laughs> well, I think that's the only one I disagreed with you on. That's right. Well, that's because you're dad. Yeah. But I would never cheer for Toronto. Sorry, all you Toronto fans. I've never cheer for Toronto. It's just a no -no. <laughs> When I was growing up, that was a definite no-no. Rotisserie, rotisserie, reheat, dehydrate. So what does guys? Rotisserie, reheat, dehydrate. You can put pizza in there. Put pizza in here. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Good make jerky. Here we're gonna go. actually try that. I think that's what you're looking for. Right? Yep, yeah, getting there. Once more. Yeah, and these are toasting up really good, actually. I gotta put in for a minute longer. I don't wanna overcook them, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we're putting in for one minute. And this this round will be done. Sure, well, that's doing now. I gotta take a try something. <laughs> with our dip. Yeah, with uh, the smoke show. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a chip? Yes. Good. Like okay. it. Mm -hmm. mm. Really good. It's different. It's new. Mm -hmm. I think this could be a staple in the Jacob's house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that smoke show sauce is really good. It has a zing to it. It's like. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. So. I'm gonna stop it now to be safe, okay? That's good. Right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you, do, am I supposed to leave these out or put them in the fridge? What's the deal I'll here? Just leave them cool. like long-tongue noodles. It does. It reminds me of that or like crackers. 
really thin crackers. All right, so this is how you make noodle chips. Pasta chips. Pasta chips, yes. You can deep fry it a little bit, I guess. Mm -hmm. Air fryer. You should be able to put it in the oven if you can put it in, a, in a, yep. one of these machines. Yep, you should just be able to coat it in the same way. Yeah, and just oil. pay attention and flip it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is one part of the episode. We'll be back in about 10 20 minutes starting to film the next one so yeah. we'll be right back go to the court